Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be a comprehensive review of a shoe brand that has kept my feet rather happy since I was introduced to the brand at the beginning of the year. Now the brand is Ally Shoes and they're a New York City based brand and they have been my numero uno for shoes to the office. They feature constantly in my Instagram reels as well as my daily outfits over on the blog. And I've been working in an office environment for over 10 years now and during that time I've worn my fair share of heels but I would say during my baby lawyer years, I subjected my feet to more than its fair share of stupidly uncomfortable shoes. If I could go back in time and chat to baby lawyer Virginia, firstly I would ask why? Why did you do it to yourself? Secondly, I would tell her to invest in shares in Amazon and Tesla, but mainly I would ask her why. Why subject your feet to so much torture? Now the whole Ally Shoes shtick is that they design shoes that are actually comfortable. So there's a podiatrist on their design team. It's not just marketing and it's not just simply the case of putting some additional padding into the shoe, which then gives the marketing team of a brand license to go all out and say that they've created the world's most comfortable shoes. No, Ally Shoes talk the talk and they actually walk the walk, presumably in their Ally Shoes, of Course. And so in this video, I'm going to talk you through all of the Ally shoes that form part of my very healthy collection. I'm also going to talk about what makes Ally shoes so comfortable. And then at the very end of this video, I'm going to be sharing sort of like my favorite styles or the styles that I would recommend that you go for first if you are new on your Ally shoes journey. Because I always get asked this and I find it really hard to answer in this scenario because I am a fan of the brand if you haven't gathered, but I will do my best. These are the things that I do for you. So what you'll find in all of their heels is this patented design technology that they've developed in-house. Essentially, they've just gone back to the drawing board rather than use a cookie cutter approach to design and they've created a pair of heels that are as comfortable as possible for the wearer. And so what are all these features? Well, essentially they all work together to create a comfortable experience for you. Firstly, there's arch support, which is pretty stock standard when it comes to comfortable heels. And secondly, there's additional padding throughout the shoe, which I think is another stock standard feature and that's probably where it stops in terms of standard features and this is where I think Ally Shoes goes beyond. There's a toe bed which is essentially a cushion for your toes to rest on and there is also this deeper heel cup to sort of keep your foot inside the shoe. It's a really subtle design feature but it's really noticeable when you're wearing the shoe. There is also a rubber sole. The shoes come in four different widths and there is inclusive sizing from US four and a half all the way to 12. And so essentially the shoes are designed to evenly distribute your weight across the entire foot. So areas of your foot that need some additional support are given that. And so you'll find by the end of the day, the points of your feet that would normally feel that pressure and that strain just don't feel like that. It's been a real pleasure to experience this design and innovation and it's really hard to go back to regular shoes if I'm honest. Now, because of the inclusive size range and the fact that the shoes are offered in four different widths, the shoes are made for you after you've placed your order. And so it's not an off the rack situation and the difference is noticeable. Now, as you you can see I have built up a rather healthy collection of Ally shoes that I'm going to talk you through. I have nine pairs of shoes across five different styles and I have discount codes as well. There are different discount codes depending on the style of shoe that you're after and so I'm just going to pop the discount codes up here as well as in the description section below. Before we get stuck in I also wanted to let you know that this video is kindly sponsored by the brand. So let's get stuck in! So I might start off with the first pair of shoes that I ever got from the brand and it is the bold block heel style which is one of the higher shoes that they have in their collection. So this is the bold block heel in tenacious tan and as you can see it's a really lovely nude shade colour. The suede is really lovely and soft but it's also really durable in my experience as well. And this being my first pair of shoes from the brand I wanted to really try out their higher shoes you know that's why I went for the seven and a half centimetre three inch heel and spoiler alert I've been thoroughly impressed with them and just how happy my feet were at the end of the day. Aesthetically they're a beautiful shoe very simple very classic with the pointed toe. I think that there's a really lovely design element to the heel as well. It does taper out a little bit at the base, but all in all, I think this is an excellent candidate for a pair of classic heels to add to your rotation, whether you want to wear them to work or to events. I just don't think that you can go wrong with a pair of nude pumps. 
The next style that I wanted to share is the lower block heel. And I have one, two, three, four. I've got four pairs of shoes in this style. Let me start off with the first pair that I used for illustrative purposes during the beginning part of this video. This is the lower block heel in the bossy beige color, which is in a really lovely torpy tan shade. And this has a lower heel of two inches or five centimeters in comparison to the seven and a half centimeter, three inch of the bold block heel. So all of the patent comfort features are the same across all of the heels. Just what you're getting here is a lower pitch with your foot and so these I find to be extremely comfortable which is why I have four pairs of them and I've decided to really expand my lower block heel library as well so that I have some neutrals and I have some pops of color so this is obviously my neutral version of the shoe and I might actually hold up the difference between the materials as well so that's the bossy beige and that's the tenacious tan as you can see there the side by side this is one I've been relying on quite a bit this is my lower heel in gutsy garnet which is a really lovely deep red shade not a lipstick red but more of a plum red and I really love these I love these so much these featured in like my Barbie reel I really love the pop of color that these provide as well this cool toned color these have been a favorite another pop of color that I have is it's this beautiful emerald green color or a forest green if that's how you want to describe it but these have been really lovely too particularly if you wear a lot of navy and I have my fair share of navy in my wardrobe so I love how this provides an additional pop of color but it also pairs very well with those cooler tones and lastly I have in the style a new pair of lower block heels that I've yet to wear before. This is actually a good opportunity for me to share with you what a pair of ally shoes looks like when you just get them. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't opened these yet. Okay, so this is the box. This is the tissue paper, just to state the obvious. I'm just gonna rip it open. So it's all packed really lovely and neat like that and then each shoe has an individual bag for it inside each bag you will find let me just keep the suspense going you will find a shoe you will then find your freshly made shoe here it is the lower block heel in the seas the gray color and wow i really like this color I have a fair bit of grey in my wardrobe and just thought this would be a really nice cool tone neutral to add. I also have a grey suit that I think this would go really really well with. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So there is some tissue paper in there just to maintain the shape. And something that is worthwhile noting is that there is a clear sticker on the sole that protects the shoe that you should definitely peel off if you intend to keep the shoes. Obviously keep it on if you plan on exchanging or returning them. And so you gotta make sure before you wear them that you remove the sticker because if you don't, you make life really hard for yourself, which I did learn the hard way. And so it just comes off quite easily. I'm just gonna peel that bit off there. Which then reveals just a really lovely non-slip sole. So there you go. That's like an accidental unboxing for you of a new pair of LA shoes that I've just recently added to my collection. The next style that I'm going to share is their kitten heel, which is, let me illustrate with a pair of shoes, which looks like this. And it is a lower heel style with a five centimeter stiletto heel. They also have the classic pump style, which is the same stiletto heel, but it's a seven and a half centimeter height, which I don't have in my collection. I've only got the bold block version, but I do have the kitten heeled version. And I really do love this style just because of the minimal stiletto heel and how classic that looks. This mocha version that I've got, I have worn quite a bit. And that is the state of the soles at the moment, which looks in pretty good nick. So I'm really quite pleased with these. I also have the pop of color equivalent in the style, which I'll share with you. I have them in this sassy saffron color. All of their colors are so cute and so alliterative. Sassy saffron, which is just a fancy way of saying yellow. Do have a yellow version here, which adds a really lovely pop of happy color to my otherwise very boring and neutral outfits. I have worn these only once, but I do envisage wearing these more in the summer. So that's a kitten heel there, as you can see. Not very scary, very approachable, very comfortable. And so you couple the lower heel with the fact that it's got that comfort technology and it just becomes just a very inviting shoe doesn't it? So that rounds out the heels that I have in their range. 
The two styles that I don't have in my collection yet are the classic pump as well as the strap heel. I don't really see myself adding the strap heel to my collection just because I don't really like ankle straps. I think that they shorten me just because I'm petite, but I am keen to give their classic pumps a go. And so I'm sure that you will see that here at some stage in the future. Ally Shoes only released a pair of boots a few months ago. They spent a lot of time perfecting the ideal boot. And so what resulted from it is their ankle boots, just simply called their ankle boot, which I have here in their black calf skin. This is she. I store the boot with all of the padding inside just to make sure that I retain its shape. These I managed to get my hands on before the autumn winter season really kicked off here in Australia. So I was really pleased to have these and I have worn them a fair bit. They are so incredibly comfortable. They've got the same internal comfort features that you see in all of their heeled shoes. This is like the bold block heel, but in a boot version because it's got that seven and a half centimeter heel as well. And these have been an incredibly comfortable ankle boot to integrate into my rotation. They have an elasticized gusset, as you can see, which make these really comfortable to get in and out of. It's just all of the features inside that you would expect to see of an ally shoe. So these have been my go-to dressier ankle boot, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring these out in new colors very, very soon. But they sort of wanted to test the waters with the classic black, and I think they've done a really good job for their first ankle boot. Well done, ally shoes, A plus, 10 out of 10. Excitingly, I have been sent a pair of shoes that have yet to be released. By the time this video goes up, I think they will be available. It is their lower ankle heel, which is similar to the offering that they have of the lower block heel. So this is a two inch heel, perfect for all of those in the Northern Hemisphere about to enter your cooler season. This is the beautiful and glorious lower block heel, which I have in this really lovely torpy tan shade, as you can see. And this is the heeled version of the lower block heel. It's the same two inch, five centimeter height, and it's got the same features of their ankle boot, their original ankle boot, the elasticized gusset. It will be available in a range of neutral tones, and so I will be sure to link those down below so that you can check them out as well. But this has the same pointed toe like the original ankle boot, as you can see. Just a really lovely, autumnal shoe and winter shoe too if you have mild winters like we do here in Australia. So that is the boot, which is pretty lovely. I'll pop the discount codes for you on screen again just as I pack these boots away just so that you can have a bit of a browse on the Ally Shoes website, depending on the style that you are interested in. But that is a wrap of all of the shoes that I have from Ally Shoes in my collection. I hope you found this to be useful, particularly for those of you that are heavily reliant on heels, particularly to wear to work. These heels have been such a game changer for me for the office, and I really wish that I had them back in the day when I was sort of starting out in my career. Now, in terms of the style that I would recommend that you start with, particularly if you're starting fresh, clean slate, I would recommend that you go for one of the lower block heels. I don't think that you can go wrong in that style in either the bossy beige color or in the black leather color. I think that they are classic shoes that you could integrate into your office wardrobe as well as for events and on weekends and things like that. And I think that your feet will be very happy and very delighted that you are giving yourself a little bit of height, but you're not killing your feet in the process. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thanks again to Ally Shoes for supporting me and for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. You will find all of the the links to the exact pairs of shoes that I have shared in the description as well, as well as the discount codes. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, then you should definitely hit subscribe so that you can be notified of new videos that I upload. That is if you enjoyed my company. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.